I'm not sure that I want to be in Dublin forever, but for now it's my home. For me, you know, Ireland is my home. I mean, I felt at home from the moment I got here, and each moment I spend in Ireland makes me even feel more at home. We haven't so really fully assimilated yet, but we've changed enough that going back doesn't feel quite right. And going forward, we sort of don't know where we would go yet. Lots of people in, in Dublin that come from different countries, like, and especially in my jobs, we live, we work for in different markets, so in different languages. So, lots of French people, lots of Italians, Spanish, um, Russian, something, Portuguese, lots of different languages. And so, in my job, I definitely don't feel like uh, an immigrant because you just basically stay with people speaking your language. You know, you work with them. But in the street, um, I don't know, it's hard because people, like Dublin is a very touristy place, so you always feel like people don't really see you as a, someone living here, but more as a tourist. And this is a sad thing for me. Uh, I am pretty much the only migrant of, of color uh, who works in mainstream Irish radio. And, and mainstream Irish media, full stop. And I, and I think that's quite upsetting because according to the last census, 17% of the Irish population is made up of migrants. So if there's 17%, which is a very big chunk of the population, is made up of people from other countries, my question is, why don't we see them in media? Why don't we see them in politics? Why don't we see them at senior levels of business? And that's one of the reasons I decided to get into media to inspire First of all, inspire other migrants that, you know what, you can do better, you can reach for these jobs, and also to inform and, and educate Irish people that we're here, and we're not just here to do, you know, to clean people's houses and, and to serve people coffee, we're actually here to equally participate in Irish society. Because the economy is bad and jobs are down and things like that, there are a lot of people leaving Ireland, I, something like... I mean, in a country of 4,000 people, there's something like 800 people a week leaving, which is huge. Or not 4,000, 4 million people. There are like 800 people or 1,000 people a week leaving the country, going to Australia, Canada, the UK, the US. About, about three years ago, I was talking to somebody who was planning to leave um, the country and move to Australia. And I was also looking for something interesting to photograph. And it dawned on me that it might be interesting to make a photograph of this person um, in a place that was special to them before they left and then advertise this as a possibility of making a series. So it was as simple as that. Um, and I suppose it started as a reaction to where we were at the time, which was in a pretty bad place <laughs> financially and, and um, we had a mass exodus around about 2009, I think, uh, of anybody who was remotely mobile and had come to Ireland to work in the building industry, just whew, left, flew. And um, people who were a little bit more embedded in our communities were thinking about moving because their means had totally turned around. So that's where, where, where it started. Well, uh, one thing for sure, Ireland experience immigration, the, the rate of immigration at Ireland experience is phenomenal. Like if you look at in the 1990s, they had way more people leaving Ireland than coming in. Like Ireland has been known to be a country of emigrants. And that's why anywhere in the world you go, you will find Irish people. And that's why you, almost every American has got Irish uh, descent, including President Obama, you know. Um, so. So, a, so a nation that was used to being a, a nation of immigrants, suddenly for the first time in their history, they had people coming in. So that was in 1990, uh, sorry, in, in, in the kind of late 19, uh, 19, 1999, 2000, you know. And in that 10 year period between 1999 and say 2009, literally, like the, the, the amount of immigrants that came in was just, it just went up 
just the, through the through the roof. I was talking to somebody who, who I photographed early on the project who said to me specifically, I'm, I'm not leaving for financial reasons at all. I have a job here, it's a good job, but I'm going to London uh, and I think it's a good career move for me to go to London. And so they went to London and they, they were back within one year and they got a better job in Ireland. Um, so it was a good move. And, and one of the biggest things that made me feel better about myself and then made me feel that I could you know, be who I want to be in, in this world was the fact that I could be, be myself. <laughs> so does that answer your question? <laughs> <laughs>